everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share my current skincare routine. And I've been trying these products for the past couple of months. And I've really been liking it. And if you're going to see, it's time to repurchase some of it because I'm running out. So actually, this time last year, my skin started freaking out. So for the most part, I have normal skin and it gets dry in the winter. You know, when you live in kind of a colder climate and you go from indoor heating and then out into the cold and back and forth, your skin just goes crazy. And that's what happens to me. And then last spring, my skin freaked out because I started working out. And when you work out, you start, you know, sweating, your pores open up and you start releasing all these toxins and anything that's on your skin can get deeper inside the pores and just cause you to break out and that's what happened to me so I needed something for normal skin kind of prone to clogging so I really wanted something light and Mario Badescu came to the rescue they sent me some products and I really like that they don't have a lot of ingredients in their products so that's what I wanted I wanted to keep it simple and I was looking for something that wasn't too over the top that would help my skin get better. And I want to share the products that became a part of my regular routine. So the first things is the cleanser. And this cleanser, when I first tried it, I thought it was so interesting. It's their enzyme cleansing gel. And this stuff is going to be, like if you try it, you're going to be a little bit I don't want to say weirded out, but it is weird because it's not a traditional kind of foaming cleanser, something like that. It feels like a conditioner on your skin. So I think that's like a new trend now in hair care, cleansing conditioners. So this is like the cleansing conditioner version for your face. And this does help kind of remove your makeup and it exfoliates the skin a little bit. It says here it has alpha hydroxy acid for exfoliation and it prevents pore clogging buildup which was what I was looking for since I was working out and I didn't want to keep having these breakouts. So um, I use this at night in the morning. I love this stuff. It's If you're Dominican, there's this conditioner that they sell in the corner stores in DR. It's the pink one. That's what this is like, so you'll get it if you try it. So, um, next up is the moisturizer that I use during the day. And this is their oil-free moisturizer with SPF 30. Again, oil-free, I didn't want to clog up my pores. And SPF 30, good for every day kind of thing. Even if you're not going to be outside a lot, it's still good to wear SPF because you can still get some sun damage, and sun damage causes wrinkles and better to start early on and start preventing that. So SPF 30 is a pretty good uh, kind of average everyday uh, kind of level of protection. So I love this and a little bit goes a long way and when I put it on you get that glow on your skin and it smells nice. It doesn't have a strong fragrance at all. A lot of these products smell like you're in a spa like that really nice kind of spa seaweed kind of a smell kind of a scent so I do like this a lot and I use it every day and yeah let's see it absorbs right away it doesn't feel greasy which is kind of the things that I don't like in a moisturizer it doesn't just sit on top of the skin so I love that a lot then at night I use now the night stuff I'll admit I'm not really good at having a nighttime regimen and doing it every day. Daytime, I'm good at that, but nighttime, I can skip using a night cream and an eye cream all the time, I forget. Or I'm lazy, and I only really do it when I feel that my skin is dry, which is bad. I should be doing it all the time so I don't feel like I have dry skin. But this is really good. If you have dry skin, this is amazing. And again, if you suffer from dry skin, it will cause you to wrinkle earlier than someone with oily skin so you really want to use something that's really hydrating and I am obsessed with these two products okay so this is their seaweed night cream smells amazing you'll see that I have like half of it left because I don't use it all the time like I should it smells so good like a spa and it just is so hydrating it's oil free and it is good for 
dehydrated skin prone to acne or clogging so exactly the problems that I was having so it just makes my skin feel so good the next day and immediately when I put it on it's super hydrating and it just feels so good then this eye cream is amazing it is so hydrating it's their hyaluronic eye cream and hyaluronic acid is the ingredient that is amazing for keeping that area hydrated keeping your skin hydrated anything with that is like a buzzword for using for someone who has dry skin and this is so hydrating to the point where i only use it at night I don't use it in the daytime because I don't need it. It'll just really, really hydrate that area right away. Um, and if I do it again in the morning, it'll be too much. So depending on how dry, you might do it twice a day or once a day. But for me, I could just use this at night and I'm good to go. And it is amazing. And you can see like a little bit goes a long way with this. I still have quite a bit left and it'll last me for a number of months. Um, then, okay, so I do borrow from my mother's things, don't tell her, but I love this cleanser as well. It's by Shiseido and it's their white lucent brightening cleansing foam because I admit sometimes I do miss that kind of, you know, like lathery foamy feeling on my face. So I'll steal this, don't tell her. So I love this. It feels so, so good. But um, my skin does feel a little bit drier afterwards. So if I have on a ton of makeup, I'll use this. Like right now I have on a ton of makeup, I would use this. So um, yeah, I really like it with Clarisonic. I have a Clarisonic. This one is the plus. They have a ton of different versions. They have from the Mia all the way to the plus, which has a body attachment that you can use. But after trying this, I think that you could just get the Mia and the difference is, is that it's smaller and it only has one speed and it doesn't have the beeps that the more expensive models have that will beep for, you know, you only spend a certain number of seconds in each area of the face and it'll let you know with a beeping sound, but the smaller ones don't have that, but I don't feel that you need that. Um, and this has more speeds, so as you go through the more expensive models, it'll have more speeds that you can use. And personally, I never use anything beyond the first speed, so that's why I feel that if you're on a budget and you don't care for the body attachment, you can just get the cheapest model out there. And the Clarisonic is special because it has a technology that kind of, um, it vibrates, and what it does, it, it kind of like flexes the skin. So it's kind of like going like popping a pimple, almost like going into the skin and extracting the dirt. Not popping a pimple because that sounds gross, but kind of like extracting the dirt, flexing the dirt out of your pores. And if you go on their website, they explain a lot more about their technology and what it does, but it doesn't just spin around like a lot of other skincare brushes, similar things that have come out in the market, this is oscillating and making the dirt come out by flexing it out of your pores. And as you've probably heard a bunch of times, this makes your skin feel so amazing, so clean, it'll, it'll feel like nothing else. And one question that I got when I mentioned this in a video a while ago is, if I experience breakouts with this. So some people, when they first start using it, because it's getting deeper maybe than you've ever gotten into your pores, it's getting all that um, dirt that's been trapped in there out and it might cause you to break out. And it'll go away over time and maybe it won't. But for me personally, I didn't break out when I used this. It didn't cause any irritation, but be careful because for some people that has happened and I have seen it in comments when I mentioned this before. But for me it worked just fine. Um, then I have this exfoliator, the famous MAC Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. And this stuff is amazing. It is really gritty which is what I like. Um, so you really feel it just working in your skin. but. It's not a chunky kind of texture, so it's kind of fine, but you feel it. And that's what I like in an exfoliator. I want to feel it, and it just smells great, and my skin just feels baby soft and amazing after I use it. Highly recommend this. 
Then finally, I have this eye makeup remover by Kogan Do, and they sell this at Sephora. They have a bigger bottle, but I always get the smaller one because the bigger bottle is like $40, and this one I think is about $12. And I don't know, I feel even though the larger bottle is probably a better value, it's easier to part with $12, and this is so good, but I go through it so quickly. It's just great at removing eye makeup. Um, for waterproof mascara I just use olive oil whatever's in the kitchen cupboard that's what I use to take it off even though I don't like waterproof mascara but sometimes you need to use it like if you're gonna go party or if you're going to a warmer climate you really need to break that down and you need something that's oil based to get it off right away and that's what I use you can use that you can use baby oil something oily to take it off whatever you have with you and that's about it. Oh, I forgot one thing, of course, as usual. Back to Mario Badescu, they have a toner. And the toner that I use is the Special Cucumber Lotion. And you can see, like, I am almost all out of this. And this is great at really making sure your skin is clean. So after you cleanse, you use a toner and then you use your moisturizer or serums, whatever it is that you use. And this just really, really kind of disinfects the skin, tightens the pores. So after you wash and everything, your pores are all open and everything, this kind of like balances everything out again. And this smells so strong. I love toners that have this really strong kind of alcoholy kind of scent, but it's not drying, which when, if you try this and you catch a whiff of it, you're going to think, oh my God, I'm putting rubbing alcohol on my face, but don't worry, it doesn't sting and it doesn't make my skin feel dry. So, um, I don't know. I particularly love when it's strong like that, like which hazel alcohol is something else that I've used. This has a stronger scent than that, but it doesn't linger on your skin or anything. Um, and it's yellow, so it's cool. So it's always interesting to throw out a yellow cotton pad into the trash in the bathroom. But anyway, that is what I have to show you of my current skincare routine. I also like to use makeup wipes to remove my makeup before I use a cleanser. And I don't really have a favorite right now. I just use whatever is in the house. I haven't found something that I love. Like I've tried the, the cucumber ones, the simple version, um, Neutrogena wipes, I've tried the MAC wipes, that's what my mom has, so I use her MAC wipes, and those are my favorites, the MAC wipes, because the other ones that I've tried, they're just not moist enough. I tried the Olay ones, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just the packages that I get, they're just not as wet as I'd like them to be, but the MAC ones, if you store them upside down, so the little opening, if you store it upside down, then the liquid will flow to the top wipe. So every time, the wipe is just amazing. Um, so that's why I really like those. Um, so whenever they're in the house, I use those and I don't buy anything else. So uh, that's pretty much my skincare routine. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. If you have any recommendations, like some amazing makeup wipes that I need to try, let me know in a comment as well. And I'll leave links to everything mentioned in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that every time I post a new video, it'll show up when you log into YouTube. And I'll leave links to my Instagram. I constantly post there. I'm obsessed with Instagram. My Twitter, my Facebook, Pinterest, I've been pinning a lot. My blog as well. So I'll leave links to all of that in the description box and I will see you in the next video which is my body skincare kind of regimen. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up at the same time hopefully. Bye.